Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmaso in the watchbox.com. It's in the description below. Your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform. Reach out to me directly for pricing, tmaso at the watchbox.com. Today, we are discussing a 2016 launch. This was the second year of the Vacheron Constantin Harmony collection, and this is the Harmony Dual Time in white gold. 40 millimeters in diameter with a tonneau case. It is 10.9 millimeters thick. And from lug tip to lug tip, it is a broad 49.2 millimeters with a 23 millimeter spacing between the lugs. Throw it on my wrist, which is 16 centimeters in circumference, and it wears large. Though it's a 40, it feels more like a 41 or 42 to me. It's a thin watch. It slides underneath the cuff. It's just broad, and it has the look and feel of something massive, almost as though it's two sizes larger than its rated diameter. I would recommend it for a wrist as small as 15 centimeters circumference, but no smaller. Taking a quick look at the strap, you can see it is a brand new Vacheron Constantin factory strap, and Vacheron, like many high-end brands, has adopted the double gator strap. So here we have large rectangular scale alligator leather in black on the top with a monotone stitch and a sheared cut, so you can see the layers of leather, but then it also has gator on the bottom. This is where traditionally straps would use calfskin. Well, gator on the bottom, in this case, small round scale, makes the strap more durable. So double gator, more expensive, but longer lasting. You can see that Vacheron uses curved spring bars so that the lugs can be drilled fairly close to the case. They knew this watch was going to wear large, so they wanted to move the pivot point of the strap inward and allow the strap to pull straight down around a small wrist. Now, the timepiece includes a buckle that is a double deployment. You can see it is a double deployment. It has the Maltese cross motif internally. It is both media blasting and polish, and then inter internally you have that Maltese cross, but then externally you also have the Maltese cross on the buckle. And take note, we have a little screw that fixes the buckle into place. So once you've set it into the strap, it's going to be very secure. You just want to make sure you set it correctly because it's going to be screwed into place and you will need a screwdriver to make adjustments once it is set. You can also see that as with the best deploying clasp, the chassis itself is curved because the underside of your wrist is curved. The case is curved as well. You can see the lugs are handsome, tapered, and fine. Arguably the most elegant part of the whole case design. You can see they really come to a point, and then they're actually stepped inward. You can see how once they're on the wrist, they appear to be even a little bit thinner than they are because the inward step pairs down the visual mass of the lug when viewed from the side. Everything is polished. Everything is curved. You can see that there is a a bezel that sits atop the case and flanks the sapphire. The crown is simple, Vacheron Constantin, Maltese cross, white gold, and this is gray gold. So it's the 18 karat white alloy that never needs to be rhodium plated. It's white all the way through. The dial is silver opaline with a lovely typeface used for those numerals. And then we have hands that are of white gold to resist oxidation and tarnish over time. We have an applied Maltese cross logo at the top of the dial, a railroad track outboard for reading the minutes and the seconds. The watch does feature a hacking seconds function and a dual time function. So I can move the local time and I'm not actually stopping the watch here and I'm not affecting the second time zone, but when I pull the crown out all the way, now everything moves in sync and you could see that I know whether I'm looking at, for example, 12 noon or 12 midnight on the sub register because the AM PM over here tells me that the time is 2400. So it, it is midnight. I'm looking at midnight right there. So two time zones and one has a 24 hour functionality. If you look at the sub register, you can see it's sunken in. It's also got a polished chapter ring, which is excellent attention to detail. And it has blackened hands with a concentric uh, pattern to the base of the register itself. So a lot of handsome detail there. And on the reverse side as well, you can see the Geneva hallmark is on the case. And it is also on the movement because as of 2012, it is a standard for the full watch. It applies to the quality of the entirety, not just the movement. The movement is Vacheron Constantin, manufacturer automatic caliber, 2460DT for dual time. It has a rose lathe cut guilloche, 22 carat winding mass, not 21, not 18, and God help us, not tungsten. It is a 22 carat mass to maximize the turning force, the polar moment to wind the watch. They use ceramic rotor bearings for efficiency and minimal maintenance. It has a 40-hour power reserve. It has the dual-time functionality and hacking seconds. It beats away at 28,800 vibrations per hour. It is adjusted in five positions like a chronometer. That is the high horology and chronometer standard. And 
As you can see, it pivots on 27 jewels. It is nicely decorated, Poisson de Genève standard, and we have satination on levers and wheels. We have Cote de Genève across the bridges. We have black polished screw heads with chamfered slots and circumference. You can see the stud holder is black polished. And you can also appreciate that we have engine turning in two different sizes on the base plate, along with fine mirrored anglage on the edge of the bridges. You can see it lighting up here. It is very attractive. The watch is 30 meters water resistant, so you're going to want to keep this one high and dry. But then again, you've got an overseas if you want to get your Vacheron wet. Reach out to Team Also at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details.